Hey everyone, recently I acquired a OKH collection from someone who was looking to donate to our model training club and being an HO scout club, we weren't interested so I was able to get said collection from him. It's something I want to do kind of a broader video on someday, show off everything I've got and I'm still going through stuff and servicing things and, you know, inspecting stuff, making repairs. So as I go through that, I like to show it off, but I figured this was something kind of neat that I never thought I'd probably get one of these. I don't know how exactly hard they are to get, but anyways, this is a uh, 927 lubricating and maintenance kit. This is a service kit line I'll put out. You know, they still, I think, make sort of similar kits. You know, nowadays where it just kind of comes on a, you know, cardboard and, you know, plastic pack and everything else. But this is basically a little kit for servicing your trains. This is produced from 1950 all the way to... I believe it was 59. So he would open it up. This actually has like a little nice little snap. It's a really nice little box, um, even though it's kind of old. Open this up. There's a little instruction pamphlet here, and then you have all the contents laid out. So I'm going to remove that. You can see everything is still pretty much intact in here. The only problem is it has leaked over the years. You can tell it's kind of stained and stuff, but I mean, it's still pretty cool that everything is in here. So I'll kind of go through everything that's in here and just to kind of show it off because it's something you might not see every day, really, you know, especially this intact. So I see a little booklet is how to clean and lubricate your line on trains and equipment. And it kind of goes through what the kit includes and how to take care of stuff. Um, in here, you get your line of lubricant, which would be On fluid lubricant, and then there is this little valve here as well. I believe this was actually a separate one from the set. This would have came in here, actually, this one here, the uh, non-fluid lubricant. See, it's a little bleh there at the bottom, but... So while she set that aside, that was in here when I got it. I've tried to have, kind of like rearrange stuff too, because when I got it, it was all kind of mixed around, trying to look at pictures, see how it goes, but then you have the Lionel two which is the line of oil that'd be this vial right here it's still in the vial which is really cool and you have the Lionel cleaner this is what you use for you know cleaning your wheels and your track and stuff it comes in kind of like a little like motor oil kind of can thing and this is combustible this is the earlier stuff they made i guess in 56 they changed it to be a blue can, and then it was not made not flammable. That kind of coincided with, if I can get that back in there, the introduction of the 3927 track cleaning car, because suddenly when you have a open motor like that so close and everything else going on, I guess it wasn't a good idea to have flammable track fluid in proximity. So the formula got changed once that was introduced. So, and yes, there is still fluid in there too. I'm not going to use it, but it's in there. Let's see, we've got the sandpaper board. They're basically like little like emery boards for, you know, nails. It's like I use. Just, it's pretty much tiny, tiny one of these. And you have uh, your orange sticks. These are used to clean out coming here slots and just cake dirt. That'd be these little dolls here. There's a dusting brush right here. I'm not going to take these out because I guess the silver tray comes up, but I'd rather just leave them kind of in there just for safety. There's a wiping cloth here. It's also included. And this, I believe, actually, did I miss this part here? Let's see. Actually, I don't think it goes over that, but I believe that's used for cleaning out smoke units. Back with we used the pellets for the smoke smoke on the engines, they would kind of get kind of caked up, that little white residue, so you'd use that for cleaning it off, but it pretty much just goes through how to clean, remove brushes, lubricating points on a lot of the engines from the era. You've got the turbine right there, your typical, it's probably a 2026 or a 2025 there, the F units, uh, your whistles and your whistle tenders, how to maintain your trucks, and word oil and grease on those how to clean your track, even little bits about accessories and cars. This one's copyright 1950. I figured it was probably around 1950 because 
most of the conches in this set are right about from 47, 48 to 50. So it makes it kind of easy to date things. But yeah, I just figured this is something you need to see. It's something you don't like it to see very often. So why not show it off? It's really cool to have. It's one of those, I'd love to have it on a shelf at some point. Or somewhere, you know, just have it kind of propped open of all this, you know, the contents visible. But we'll go and close it back up. I can show you around the box. Yeah, it's a neat, really cute little box that snaps together with that little clasp. Yeah, so there you go. There's the 927 Lubricating and Maintenance Kit. Thanks for watching.